Okay. I want to munch. I want to munch. Whoa. Holy shit. My name. Oh, boy. Is Bunk Manus. There's no way this no voice is going to last. <laughs> yeah. 20 years ago, I gifted Pumpkin Spice against the advice of the elders <laughs> to you. Can you say your humanity. name again? Sorry, say your name again. Bunk Manus. Pumpkin Manus? Pumpkin Manus. Pumpkin Manus. It's kind of a mouthful. Do you need Thank a lozenge you. or? No. 20 years ago. Don't make me, please, God, don't make me repeat myself. <laughs> and now I return to Earth to put you You just said 20 years trial. ago, now I return to Earth. <laughs> no, 20 years ago, I gifted gave this spice. pumpkin I'm so spice. sorry, pumpkin man. Go ahead, don't repeat yourself, just keep going. Now I've returned to Earth, and you must defend your usage of my gift. <laughs> oh. <laughs> or oh, be no. destroyed. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, I don't want to be destroyed. This is of the trial of Pumpkin Spice, Justin McElroy. But hey. you'll still be here to answer all of well, our you, questions. Of right. course. Awesome. Hey, it's Justin McElroy. Hey, Juice. Uh, I have been, because of some bad deals that I made, I am in internal servitude to Punk Manus. Yeah. He has decided after 20 years after he gifted us Pumpkin Spice lattes, he has now returned to our dimension to see how we have uh, fulfilled this uh, incredible curse Manus, contract. can I have a question for Punk Manus? Sure, you can ask Punk Manus. He's nodding. Okay. Will you tell us what compelled you to give pumpkin spice to the Earthlings in great detail, please? Yes. I was bored and also mad at my dad. <laughs> Who's your dad? Tell me everything. The devil. Uh, yeah. Holy my dad. shit! I was mad at my dad. I'm a minor demon. But, uh, the only like a child up, demon? Like fucked. It was fucked up. All right. So he cusses. Cool. Um, okay. So uh, here's the way we're gonna do it. We've gathered in uh, this hall. Yeah. Uh, a it's selection in here. I, if I give you a number, you're gonna think I'm lying. So I've gathered a selection of spokespeople from America's fast casual brands. Um, you, uh, two will be portraying, um, uh, portraying these spokespeople and we're going to see who offers the best defense of pumpkin spice, because when you're releasing something that involves pumpkin and you're talking about it in August or September, for some reason, you have to justify your decision, right? Oh, okay. So, guys, keep an eye on your slack. They're going to be coming at you. And okay. we're going to just, well, uh, we'll just alternate here and stop to discuss as needed. Cool. Kick ass. Okay, great. And again, if we lose this, then the spokesperson is destroyed or me just, uh, me and Gray yeah, Travis. Question. Get, no, all of, one gets to stay. All others must cease production of all pumpkin spice products. Okay, okay but, but I was. And be evaporated. Okay, there's the. There is the there is the the there product the again. The product is evaporated. The spokesperson is evaporated, or Travis and I are evaporated. <laughs> you guys, are it would safe be Travis or I. Like okay, you guys are safe because it's a skit. Okay, but you can understand if someone with a scary voice called you on the phone and said they were going to destroy you, Juice. You'd yeah, probably be a little bit freaked. I would look for the recording stuff around me and realize that it's a skit. Okay, could have been hack. Could have been hackers. I'm going to put them in this chat with both of you. So just either one of you that wants to grab them. Yeah, sure. Uh, this is uh, M Marianne. Should I read the quote or say who's who it's from? Yeah, say who it is and then read the quote. This is Marianne Radley, CMO of Smoothie King. We're keeping it real this fall. We're proud oh, that our pumpkin smoothie lineup contains real ingredients that you can actually pronounce, like organic pumpkin, and they taste amazing. <laughs> Like organic pumpkin, and they taste amazing. Whether guests are looking for an afternoon pick-me-up or a vegan or high-protein option, our five pumpkin varieties provide a delicious and nutritious option for everyone. Marion has just, no uh, shot, right? She's no. Like, yeah. zero I, I would also that like sucked. to say, Marion, uh, or Marianne, whatever, the idea of it being ingredients that I can pronounce isn't really that much of a selling point, because there's lots of words across the planet that I could not pronounce. 
that are that delicious. That so yeah, good. So I can like barely that. say cinnamon. Travis, yeah, go. Come on. Okay. Uh, Robex, vice president of marketing, Mitch Baker says, our commitment to menu innovation is a top priority, and we believe the pumpkin flavors are an exciting way to dive into fall. <laughs> really? <But> it, <laughs> yep. <laughs> This is, we're the first person to ever think about this. Pumpkin fall, we did it. The dedication we have for innovation (laughs) drives us to create flavors that resonate with the essence of each season. Like pumpkin! The perfectly pumpkin smoothies, (laughs) which use 100% pure pumpkin puree, puree, (laughs) instead of pumpkin flavoring, epitomize the warmth and richness of fall. Well... It's not warm. Providing a deliciously delightful and nutritious way to embrace this time of year. All right. Here's one from Chris Ruskowski from uh, the CMO over at Badass Coffee of Hawaii. This fall, we are excited to invite our guests into our stores to explore our new Aloha Autumn Collection, complete with our own nods to the fall season and the Hawaiian Islands. We expect each of our fall flavors to exceed customer expectations. (laughs) Good. Yeah. Yeah. They'll Good like start. it. Uh, they're going to like, uh, this one's going to kick ass. Especially our new Mana Energy Caramel Cat Apple. Clearly my favorite. Clearly my favorite. <laughs> How would I know clearly? <laughs> How, How would I know, know that, anything Chris? about you, Christopher? Clearly. The flavor Think pro- about everything you know about me. Yeah. yeah. Chris. The flavor profile transported my taste buds back to the <laughs> days of getting caramel-covered green apples on a stick. Chris, <laughs> when was that? I don't know you at all, Chris. And it did transfer all of him. Just his taste, his taste buds were transported by the flavor profile of green apple. Transported it back to the day that he ate a caramel apple. I don't know. That could be last year. That could be. I don't want to go back too far, Chris. I don't Travis, want to go to fall two thousand. I, I just. I had to look it up for clarity's sake, just in case you were wondering. Badass Coffee Company of Hawaii uh, was bought in 1995 by B. J. Bill uh, Bill Anzik. Uh, who, upon uh, their return to Salt Lake City, she and her husband just loved it so much that they bought Badass Coffee of Hawaii and began franchising on the mainland. Okay, cool. gra- great. Gotcha. Travis. Yeah, so just in case you were worried Travis, that Badass you Coffee of Hawaii... Okay. any idea how many people have defended their use of pumpkin spice in this past month? Okay. I got uh, Travis and Jeff, Griffin lined up. Jeff Travis, Rinke, go. Vice President of Marketing and Product Development at Hungry Howie's, Oh, the limited- always. <laughs> oh boy. You it has gone so far as hungry. Oh my fuck. I'm okay, so wait. sorry, Bob. Sorry. Oh my god. Okay. The limited time come good spice Howie Bread celebrates the season's most quintessential fall flavor and combines it with pizza's favorite side, <laughs> breadsticks. <laughs> what? Customers love our Howie Bread selection. So what with that in mind, we decided. Bread? We decided to introduce Pumpkin Spice Howie Bread as a seasonal flavor addition in 2021. That is when, crazy. When so everyone was different. locked in their homes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was the perfect time to force this on everybody. Over the past two years, we've seen such a positive response to Pumpkin Spice Howie Bread. Don't say it again! Which is why we're bringing back our customer favorite fall limited time offer. That's a rough ride, Jeff. Here's another Jeff. This is Jeff Hetzel, president and CEO of- Second Jeff. <laughs> Second Jeff. Uh, CEO. Second Jeff, same as the first. He's the coup of CC's. <gasps> Our <laughs> CC's is a, an amazing brand that let you eat all the pizza you want. It used to be next to the Best Buy I worked at, and that was lunch sorted. Yeah, yeah. Until, Thank you. Yeah. And then people started to just eat the restaurant. There's the plywood and all of the plaster. Jeff, the coup of CC's, says- our fans adored our mouth, watering pumpkin spice cinnamon rolls so much last year we had to bring them back again this year. We are thrilled to reintroduce a festive take on our classic sweet treat to our buffet rotation and satisfy our customers' fall cravings once again. Did not need a presser on this one, Jeff. We did it. We done did it again. You liked it last year. It's back. Did, it, did, that, Jeff, that's a very, that is a weak defense. I feel like that doesn't convince me at all. Well, no, there are people... On. Travis. Are there people who want to go to CC's, but they just need something to push it over the top? Can I speak? Can I speak to pump, pumpkin, pumpkin, Trump? Punk yes. Manus? He's not. Punk Manus. Yes. Pink. He's not, he's Punk not Manus. Yes. I would like to say on Earth, I don't know how much of our legal system you know about, but there is a thing called precedent that does sort of solve a lot of these cases before they even get started. What Jeff Hetzel, president and coup of CC's, has said 
is we've already done this. You yeah. cannot gut- And the Supreme Court didn't stop them. And the Supreme Court didn't stop them. So, Pump Commandus, I feel like this has my vote so far. Okay. So, Matt Ryder, Senior Vice President of Product and Procurement at Caribou Coffee. Cool. I've been sitting here reading that title over and over again. What is Matt procuring? <laughs> what the is he coffee? doing? It's like the coffee, the coffee man. Bud? He's going out and picking it up. No, he like asks. He pe- asks people. He he's not his... jumping you over the fence to right steal now. beans okay. from a witch's garden. <laughs> Pumpkin is one of the most highly anticipated seasonal flavors in the industry, and we're ecstatic to welcome guests to fall with our extensive pumpkin menu. There's so fucking many of these. Yeah, man. With a wide variety of menu <laughs> items and endless customizations, there is something for everyone to enjoy this fall season, whether they want their pumpkin shaken, iced, blended, hot, or with nitro cold press. Now, now, now here's what I love about that, Justin. Yeah. He goes on and on about how extensive it is. Yeah. The wide variety, endless customizations, and then says to highlight the wide variety and endless customization, how do you want your pumpkin? You can have yeah. your pumpkin anyway. I will say Matt's using a lot of passive voice here. Yeah. Not necessarily owning it. He's saying, no. I don't know. People around me send to enjoy pumpkin. Yeah. I, there's got to, they got to be out there somewhere. Tim. Check Ho- in on Tim's. Tim Horton, USA president. Tim Hortons, the current American president. <laughs> and Katerina Glyptis says, Fall is one of our favorite times of the year at Tim Hortons. We're excited to bring a new lineup of delicious beverages and baked goods that truly capture all the great flavors of the season. Hot, iced, or blended as an iced cap in pumpkin spice, maple cinnamon sugar, spiced apple cranberry, or fall peach flavors. The fall beverages oh, provide peach. options for everyone. Okay, uh, Pumpkin Manis, I changed my answer to this one because oh, a lot of those actually sound real fucking good. Okay, what Alexis. Is an iced cap. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. So we have them in the North Pole and the South Pole. Yeah. And uh, due to our uh, just real abuse of the planet, they're melting. Well, okay. Let's not let Pump Manis and his dad the off the hook. On that. Yeah. Well, no, Pump no. Manis. Um, Pump. it's not. It's not. Um, it's getting pretty. It's getting pretty hot up here, pal. Can you turn uh, it down the thermostat or whatever? Do you have any control over that? Yeah, they let the pumpkin demon control that. Okay. Was that sarcasm? Alexa Schultz? co-founder and chief visionary officer of <laughs> Nectar. Nectar. The visionary Juice looked out I- into the ether, and what did the visionary see? Juice. No, pumpkin. <laughs> oh, oh, pumpkin, okay. At Nectar, which is E with a... Uh, accent. Nectar. Nectar juice bar. Splash the bottle. <laughs> Nectar. <laughs> we understand that people today demand more than a basic beverage or bowl. Our guests crave and deserve an authentic experience <laughs> and a nourishing and nutritious menu that aligns with their fitness and wellness goals. This inspired us to reimagine Fall's favorite flavor with our pumpkin pie smoothie and pumpkin chia oh parfait, God. delivering essential nutrients from real whole ingredients for a better tasting and better way for you to enjoy pumpkin. I believe in the just God-given inherent dignity that belongs to every human soul, but I don't know what one does to deserve an authentic nectar pumpkin pie smoothie shake. And I don't, frankly, I don't want whole ingredients. I would like you to give me- Chop them up. Chop them up. Yeah, chop them up, please. I don't want to eat a whole pumpkin. Too big. Uh, uh, Sanjeev Razdan, president of the Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf brand, says our fall menu really celebrates the nostalgic, sweet, spicy, and savory flavors of the season, complete with pumpkin, chocolate, and even orange, he says. We are excited to see our guests enjoy and indulge in their favorite flavors and beverages that are all made with the highest quality coffee, highest quality coffee and tea that are globally sourced and perfectly roasted and prepared. Yeah. yeah. Jeff, I, I, Sanji, yeah, you got to spice it up a little bit if you'll pardon the pun. Yeah. Jeff Laramie, a CEO of Beans and Brews, says, fuck, man, I don't know. <laughs> um, Basically. 
every year people come in oh fuck oh god i got into this business because i had a dream it meant something to me. no he actually says customers look forward to our seasonal offerings we're really proud to introduce these new fall classics be sure to come by your local beans for our new fall flavors before they're gone oh jeff oh jeff jeff that's a jeff AI, AI wrote that one jeff. ai wrote yeah. that danny yeah. wanner vp of operations at ziggy's coffee says embracing the spirit of autumn we are thrilled to extend the heartwarming and comforting flavors of the season to communities nationwide through our specially crafted seasonal menu at Ziggy's. With a commitment to fostering connections, this fall brings a distinctive assortment of fall flavors, providing convenient and enjoyable ways for our communities to come together. Thank there you. are so many of these. Healing America. Danny, thank you so much, Ziggy's Coffee. Nation's giant hamburgers. <laughs> Is that a place? Travis, Travis, read this person's job title. Nation's <laughs> giant hamburgers president there yeah <laughs> my job is nation's giant hamburgers because nations <laughs> nations so it's apostrophe s nations giant hamburgers president <laughs> i'm nations giant hamburgers president michelle by the way nation's giant hamburgers president <laughs> Nation's, Nation's giant, giant hamburger, hamburger president. President. <laughs> you think if you re- this is this is a fun little exercise because you could also remove any word yeah. from this title and it would get ten times wilder. Just nation's like, oh. hamburgers president. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the nation's giant president. <laughs> and we're we are frankly assuming nations is a business. This could just be saying, like, our nation's giant hamburgers, President. <laughs> I don't lobby. know how far down the list they are <laughs> in a designated survivor they have kind a, of they situation. Have a, they have a super pack. I'm President yeah. Joe Biden. And I'm the giant President <laughs> Michelle Blythewood. Should anything ever happen to Joe Biden? Have you seen <laughs> I'm 86th in line. Have you seen my giant hamburgers? <laughs> We are joining the seasonal pumpkin craze in our own nation's style. Pie shakes have long been a secret menu item you on our menu. You gotta read this faster, Travis. There's yeah. so okay. many. Pie really shakes really have long been a bit. secret item menu on our menu, beloved by our regulars. But this is the first time one has ever made it to the official menu. Our pumpkin pie is made with true pumpkin ingredients and a homemade flaky crust. The bites of pie and flakes of crust in each bite made this dessert in a milkshake? Yeah, okay. sure. Fall is almost, up, they just take a whole pot. Okay, but the weather in most, okay, fall is almost upon us, but the weather in most parts of the country says otherwise, wow. thanks to global warming. So our ice no, cold milkshake, what? Not the guts. No. So our ice cold milkshake is the perfect way to stay cool while enjoying the most popular flavor of the season. There's... I did want to highlight here where Michelle says that, uh, one part that I think is very interesting is that pie shakes have long been a secret item on our menu, beloved by our regulars. Now, to me, what that means is that someday someone went into a nation's giant hamburgers and said, hey, can you put a pie in my shake? <laughs> and they had to deal with that. But like, then it also was so popular that, that this they is started just... telling like, they will just put a pie in yeah. your shake. Um, Here's, oh, wow. This is a special one. This is Shipley Donuts. Or perhaps donuts. Chief Marketing <laughs> Officer Donna jo- Josephs. I don't know if y'all have ever had a ship. These are fucking great. Uh, our pumpkin spice donuts bring the sweet aromatic essence of the season with balanced fall flavors that we all start to crave this time of year. They are perfect with a cup of our hot coffee or our signature bold black cold brew, and you'll definitely want to rush in and try them before they're gone. Juice, there's 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 a lot of these. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, do, yeah, I yeah, do yeah. have to do this one. Dave Skinner, who, as we know, uh, is the global chief brand officer for Krispy Kreme, regular here on, on Munchkin. Year after year, we fall in love all over again with pumpkin spice flavored treats. And this year, pumpkin spice lovers will fall the hardest at Krispy Kreme, combining two new pumpkin spice donuts with two fan favorites. We're saying to the spice and our fans, P.S., we love you. Here's what we're saying to the sp- hey. It's me, Dave Skinner. I'm on the phone. <laughs> Is it weird when I say we're saying to the spice? That's that doesn't scan for me. Well, it I guess it, I, weird, you? Dave. I guess it depends on what it is you're saying to the spice. Uh, uh, P.S. We love you. The oh, that's like not P.S. Like pump, it's like pumpkin spice, right? P.S. But also, we love you. We're also telling our fans a pretty direct parasocial invitation to come sure. eat our donuts. Yeah. Okay, we got two more, and then we're done. 
Okay, uh, Griffin. And this uh, is this was not sourced to a specific person. Uh, so this is an Eliano spokesperson. Every year, the anticipation. Now, of, if you want, if you feel like there's a lot of these, maybe you could bring a little something to this. You know? Every year, the anticipation of our fall promotion grows louder and arrives sooner. Our dedicated customers have voiced their desire for these beloved pumpkin flavors earlier each year. So this season, we've listened and are thrilled <laughs> to introduce our pumpkin lineup earlier than ever. It's our way of saying thank you and celebrating. Celebrating the magic of fall with our customers. This is somebody who's being very honest. Like, yeah, it's, yeah. Get, it's crazy, right? Every year, these idiots are like, give it to us, give it to us, give it to us. And this season, we finally broke. Like, we'll just fucking give it to you, no problem. We are e- executing on the basic principles of supply and demand. And what is that if not magic? A fall. It's July. Jill, mm, ta-da. Jill McVicker Nelson, Chief Marketing Officer at Duncan. Every year, we can practically feel the buzz around our pumpkin lineup. It's truly amazing to see our fans light up for this cherished flavor, catching their excitement both on social media and in our restaurants underscores how much Dunkin' and the fall season go hand in hand. As the pumpkin spice season embodies Dunkin's vibrant spirit, we're all in. Splashing our signature shade of orange everywhere we can. Oh, gross. gross. What the fuck do you mean, <laughs> Duncan? Don't splash it everywhere you can. Put it in drinks and in donuts. We That's are it. All don't, in. I don't want to be splashed with your orange stuff. I have my answer, Pump Manis. Speak. I choose. Jeff Hetzel, president of Coup of CCs, he was direct, he was honest, he established, I would say, even a super precedent. Uh, and I, he didn't waste my fucking time with a bunch of fr- frivolous statements about how good pumpkin flavor is. Oldest brother, do you concur? That's you. Just, no, that's wait, 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 you're not the oldest. No, oh God, no, look at I my youth. I, no, fuck off. I just Punk man, why did you assume he was older he than Justin? so much older. I oh. do not. Justin looks so young and vibrant. No one would ever make that mistake. I am. I have been along longer. I have been alive longer than you can conceive. Right. I think I know which one is oldest. Punk, punk, punk Manus, though, it is Justin's youth and vibrance maybe part of the reason why he is eternally indebted to, to you? Also, why he's so easily possessed by just about any like he is a bit of a floozy, isn't he? Yeah, yeah sure. He's yeah, yeah his soul sphincter is it stings like chips in here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which one that would be. He needs to do some soul kegels like a lot to of tighten leftover chips. Gross. Okay, well, Travis, where are you at? Like wet chips. Great. In the carpet. I. Uh, I, if I had to pick, let me see. I think mine are back up at the top. You know what? I'm going with Howie's bread. It's the weirdest one on there, and I love it. Uh, Pumpkin spice breadsticks? Go on. That is the one that needs the most defense, I would say. Consensus cannot be reached. Therefore, I must return in 20 more years. Okay. Okay. Pumpkin, can I just ask real quick before you go? Did Starbucks really not get a hand on the ball? (laughs) <laughs> when they invented the pumpkin spice latte, they did it by dumping coffee on pumpkin pie and eating it. After watching that once, I can't ever talk to those nasty freaks again. Oh, okay, shit. That's gross. All right. Well, Punk Manus, thank you so much. Um, we probably won't still be doing this in 20 years. Well, you hope, right? You hope. All right. <gasps> But you were here. Wow. You weren't possessed. I, guys, was, guys, okay. I think allergy season's here because my throat is like burning. Yeah. Like, you so spoke sore. during that. You talked what? to him. You talked during that bit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, thanks so much for listening to my brother, my brother, and me. 